So it's getting cool outside, so it's time to tell you a warm story. So I'm going to tell you a story about summer. Um, when I was a little kid, my entire extended family, my, my mother, my aunts, and all my cousins, we would save our money all year long for our annual one-week vacation at the seashore. And it was always this hot two-hour car ride in our 1962 Impala. Um, and we'd all be crammed in there. Oh, stop pushing me. Stop pushing me. You got the window last time. And we'd push out each other. It was so hot, but it was two hours from Philadelphia through the city traffic, over the Walt Whitman Bridge, through all these little towns in Jersey, down the Garden State Parkway to God's Summer Garden, Wildwood, New Jersey. <laughs> didn't know God had a summer garden. <laughs> it's in the garden state, right? Mm -hmm. Wildwood, New Jersey. Now, what we did was we rented a bungalow. And we would cram each corner of the family in the various corners of this bungalow, right? So my Aunt Phyllis and her kids would be crammed in one room with kids, you know, all on the floor. And my Aunt Jane and her family would be crammed in another room with kids on the floor. And my mother, my sister, and I would be crammed in yet another room, me on the floor. And teenagers would be sprawled out on the couches. I mean, we used this bungalow, okay? We got our money's worth on this bungalow. And it was the kid's job every morning to drag the slow, lazy adults up out of bed and drag them down for all day at the beach under the sun. Now, to tell you the truth, I actually don't remember a lot of the things that happened during those vacations. I mean, they were a long time ago, and I know that that's a strange thing for a storyteller to say, but I don't remember the specific events from those vacations. But the sensations are burned into my memory. I remember the hot July sun beating down and licking my skin. I remember all the sand and the seashell chips in between my toes. I remember the sound of the surf. Shh, shh. And the sound of the bell of the ice cream vendor on the beach. And if I looked up, I could see the seagulls circling overhead. And all day long, we heard the sound of the world's most wonderful machine. <clears throat> Because you see, Wildwood, New Jersey had a boardwalk. And the boardwalk had all the attractions that you'd expect a boardwalk to have, stores and, and amusements. But it also had a roller coaster. And it was a huge roller coaster with that intricate pattern of white wooden beams and dark wooden track. And the sounds it made were, were magical. The first thing you'd hear is the car catching onto the chain all the way up to the top. And then it would get quiet as you waited, waited for that moment. A little longer, then a little longer, then zoom down, and all the hands would go up, and people would go, yeah! And then up the other side, and then down around the other side. Oh, it was great. And it called to us all day long. We heard this coaster. But see, you know, we, there was this rule. We couldn't scatter. We had to stay on the beach. So we couldn't actually go to the roller coaster. And all day, the coaster called to us like a siren. Over here, over here. Come spend your money over here. Just 25 cents a ticket over here. And we couldn't go. But we knew that when we went back and got cleaned up and came back that night, we would be the ones holding our hands in the air and yelling, yeah! Now, 20 years or more after I'd stopped going to Wildwood, New Jersey, I had discovered 
this magical place in the universe. This magical place is called Santa Cruz, California. Anyone know Santa Cruz, California? You know, a few people? Yeah, yeah. Santa Cruz, California. If you don't know Santa Cruz, Santa Cruz is just about 30, 40 miles south of San Francisco. And Santa Cruz is the town that time forgot. <clears throat> I mean, the 60s moved into Santa Cruz and just stayed, all right? They had Art Deco buildings, blue and, blue and pink, you know, the hippies all over the streets. It's a great place. It's just a great place. And when I discovered Santa Cruz, I found that it had all the things that reminded me about Wildwood. I mean, it had the hot summer sun, and it had the sand and the seashell chips in between my toes. It had the sound of the surf, and the seagulls circling overhead, and it had a roller coaster. Now, ever since I was a little kid, I had always wanted to design and build my own roller coaster because I knew what I was doing. I mean, I grew up with, you know, Tinker Toys, Erector Set, Lego, Lincoln Logs. I had been around the construction block a few times, if you know what I'm saying. So I knew that I could design and build my own roller coaster. Now, my design for a roller coaster was really cool. All right. So my design was the first climb would be enormous, just up to the clouds, just this enormous coaster. And the first drop would be straight down into a pitch black hole, into a tunnel where you couldn't see anything right in front of you. And the car would lurch left and right and left and right at blinding speeds, and then would jump up into the sunlight, up to the next hill. Now, the Santa Cruz roller coaster didn't quite have my design, but it came close. So when the car leaves the station, the first thing that happens is it dips down into a pitch black tunnel, and you can't see anything in front of you. And the car lurches left and right, left and right, until it leaps into the sunlight, catches the chain, and all the way up to the top. It's a short, fast roller coaster, but it's violent and it's great. It's such a great ride. It's wonderful. Ah. Oh. She believes me. You're going with me next time. Now, many years after I'd moved away from California, I was living back on the East Coast, and I had to take a trip to California. And I had a friend traveling with me, and we had to drive near Santa Cruz. So I said, hey, we have time. Why don't we go and check out Santa Cruz? It's been a long time. So she said, OK, great. So we went to Santa Cruz, and it was much the same. It was great. The hot summer sun was there, and the sand and the seashell chips in between my toes. There was the sound of the surf and the seagulls overhead, the Art Deco buildings. The hippies were old and gray and replaced by the MTV generation, but it's OK. And the coaster was still there. So I said, all right, all right, all right. We gotta go on the coaster. We're gonna go on the coaster. Come on, the line is short. Let's go, let's go. And she said, I have never been on a coaster and I am not starting today, no way. I said, come on, you have to. It goes with everything here. It's a package deal. The sun, the sand, the surf, the coaster. Come on, let's go, it'll be fun. And she said, well, if it's so much fun, why are those people screaming? I said, well, you know, it's like one of those California laws. You know, they have the helmet law, they have the scream law. Come on, let's go, come on, the lane is short, let's go, I'll buy the tickets. And she said, no, 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 I'm afraid. Does it listen to the sound, listen to the sound of that. Doesn't the car sound like it's gonna come off the track? Doesn't it come out like, sound like it's gonna come off the track? I said, listen, if the car comes off the track, I'll buy you dinner, and you can say, I told you so, for the rest of our life, which will probably last about two seconds. Come on, let's go, let's go, come on. We're gonna have fun. The line is short. And I went and bought the tickets, and I held her hand, and we started walking up the ramp, and I could feel her hesitancy grow. So I started playing coach. 
Come on, come on, you can do it, you can do it. Come on, come on, come on. Thank goodness the line was short because the anticipation was eating her up inside. So we got to the front of the line. There was no line. We got to the front. And as, I, as we stood there, the car <laughs> rolled in, and all the giddy passengers got out the other side. And I could hear next to me, oh my god, 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 oh my god. So we started to step in the car. And the attendant, you know, trying to be helpful, came over and said, um, ma'am, can I take your purse so it's not thrown out of the car? thrown out of the car. Oh my God, 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 oh my God. We got in the car and the bar came down in front, in front of us like tight. <clears throat> oh my God, 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 oh my God. She said, I said, it's okay, it's okay. I'll hold your hand the entire time. It'll be fine. I said, just relax. We're in California. Just just relax. And the car took off, dipped down into a pitch black tunnel, and jerked left and right and left and right. We couldn't see where we were going. It was fast, and <laughs> shot up into the sunlight, caught onto the chain, and took us up to the top. Now, I have to tell you, um, up until that day, I had kind of always wondered about the term white knuckle experience. I didn't really understand it. You know, I had no frame of reference. I, I didn't quite understand, you know, if you already had white skin, how could you have whiter knuckles? You know? But that day, looking down, well, as I held her hand, I said, oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Up to the top. A moment, and then zoom down, and then we all yelled, yeah! Well, almost all of us, yeah! And then up the other side, and then around and down the other side, and then up the other side, and then there were the short hills, and then around the other, then boom, into the station. Oh, it was fast, it was violent, it was great, just like I remembered it. Oh, wonderful, best ride in the world. Oh. And we got out. And we started walking down the ramp. And I turned and said, ooh, hmm, this doesn't look good. She had kind of a blank expression. <laughs> and I said, oh, man. I st and the guilt started coming down on me. Oh, I, I started feeling really bad, like I'd taken a friend through, through a near-death experience. <laughs> and as we were walking down, I, I, I sort of pulled up all of my courage, and I said, uh, so, did you like it? <laughs> Long pause. I thought, okay, that's it, friendship's over. Oh, this is just really bad, this is bad, oh, man. So I, I, I tried again, I said, so, so what'd you think? Another long pause, until finally she said, can, can we go again? Yes! Thank you.